Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss important questions of distillation, which are mostly asked in an interview. If you know the answer to any question, please comment in the comment box. And if you like my video, please like, comment, share. And subscribe to my YouTube channel which is Chemical Idda. So let's see the questions. How can we express equilibrium data for binary mixture in distillation? So, equilibrium data for a binary mixture at constant total pressure are represented in graphical forms by means of the temperature composition diagram and the xy diagram the temperature composition diagram where temperature is plotted on y-axis and the vapor phase composition of mole volatile component that is y in terms of mole fraction and the liquid phase composition of mole volatile component that is x in terms of mole fraction is plotted on x-axis and the XY diagram where the vapor phase of mole volatile component that is Y in terms of mole fraction is plotted on Y axis and the liquid phase composition of mole volatile component that is X in terms of mole fraction is plotted on X axis now next question what is the boiling point diagram so, boiling point diagram is used to show how the equilibrium vapor and liquid phase composition that is Y and X change with temperature. This figure shows boiling point diagram. In this diagram, the composition of the mixture is plotted as abscissa in terms of the mole fraction of the mole volatile component and temperature of the mixture is plotted as ordinate. Bubble point is the temperature at which a liquid mixture of a given composition starts to vaporize as the temperature is increased. The liquid represented by any point on the lower curve is at its bubble point. And hence the lower curve is called as the saturated liquid curve or the bubble point temperature curve that is T versus X. The temperature at which a vapor mixture on cooling first begins to condense is called dew point. The condensation starts at any point on the upper curve. And hence the upper curve is called as the saturated vapor curve. Or the dew point temperature curve T versus Y. Now next question, what is equilibrium diagram, or distribution diagram, or equilibrium curve? So, for distillation calculations, the equilibrium vapor liquid composition data can be plotted, where the vapor phase composition that is Y is plotted as an ordinate and the liquid phase composition that is X is plotted as an abscissa. Such a diagram is called as an equilibrium diagram or distribution diagram or equilibrium curve. Now next question. In distillation, equilibrium curve lies on which side of diagonal? So, as the vapor is richer in the more volatile component than the liquid. Hence the equilibrium curve lies above the 45 degree diagonal line and this 45 degree diagonal line shows why that is mole fraction of more volatile component in vapor is equal to x that is mole fraction of more volatile component in liquid. Now next question. What is meant by rectification? 
So, the enrichment of the vapor stream as it passes through the column in contact with reflux is termed as rectification. As we can see in this figure, a part of the condensed liquid is returned back as reflux and a maximum enrichment of the more volatile component in the vapor is obtained. This is called as rectification. Now next question. Which is the rectification section in fractionating column? So, the section above the feed plate or tray is called the rectifying section. In rectification section, the vapor is washed to remove the less volatile component with the liquid, which returned fed back to the column from top. It's called as reflux. Now next question. Which is the stripping section in fractionating column? The section below the feed plate or tray and including the feed plate is called the stripping section in stripping section the liquid is stripped off more volatile component by rising vapor now next question define feed plate the plate on which feed is introduced is called the feed plate now next question, what will happen if cold liquid fed to the distillation column? If cold liquid is introduced as a feed to the distillation column, then the liquid flow rate in the stripping section increases and the vapor flow rate in the rectification section decreases because as the cold liquid is used as feed. It requires more heat energy from vapor to attain column temperature. Hence the vapor flow rate in the rectification section decreases. Due to increase in liquid flow rate in the stripping section. Hence we get L dash greater than L and V less than V dash. Where L dash is liquid flow rate in stripping section. L is liquid flow rate in rectifying section where V dash is vapor flow rate in stripping section. L is vapor flow rate in rectifying section. Now next question. What will happen if liquid at bubble point fed to the distillation column? So, if liquid which is at bubble point is introduced as a feed to the distillation column, then the liquid flow rate in the stripping section increases and the vapor flow rate in the rectification section will be same as it in stripping section because the feed liquid is already at bubble point. Hence we get L dash as greater than L and V is equal to V dash. Now next question. What will happen if partially vaporized liquid fed to the distillation column? So, if partially vaporized liquid is fed to the column, then it increases the vapor flow rate in the rectifying section and also the liquid flow rate in the stripping section because partially liquid consists partly vapor and partly liquid. Hence it increases the vapor flow rate in the rectifying section and also the liquid flow rate in the stripping section. Hence we get L dash as greater than L and V greater than V dash. Now next question. What will happen if saturated vapor fed to the distillation column? If saturated vapor is introduced as a feed to the distillation column, then the vapor flow rate in the rectifying section increases and the liquid flow rate in the stripping section and rectifying section will be same. 
Hence we get L dash is equal to L. And V greater than V dash. Now next question. What will happen if superheated vapor fed to the distillation column? If superheated vapor is introduced as a feed to the distillation column, then the vapor flow rate in the rectifying section increases, and the liquid flow rate in the stripping section less than liquid flow rate in rectifying section, because superheated vapor feed while going to vapor. It converts some liquid to vapor. Hence the vapor flow rate in the rectifying section increases. And the liquid flow rate in the stripping section. Less than liquid flow rate in rectifying section. Hence we get L dash is less than L and V greater than V dash. So that's all about. Important questions on distillation. In the next video, we will discuss another set of questions. If you like my video, please like my video. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel.